Before we can begin to actually create our annotation cells and our annotation groups for plans, for profiles, for cross sections, we need to put in place some foundational standards to use for these labels. For example, in this video we're going to look at text styles. We also need to develop some dimension styles and some element templates before we can begin to actually start to construct our labels. The Training and Examples Workspace delivers a DGN library that is full of different text styles that are used in the Training and Examples Workspace for annotation in plan, in profile, and in cross section. I'm going to make a recommendation here that instead of starting from scratch, you can copy this over to the particular agency XYZ workspace environment that we're looking at developing here and make modifications as needed or merge information back and forth between your current textiles that you use in your environment to the information made available to us in the delivery. So I'm going to right click copy the textiles and dimensions file, the DGN library, from our delivered workspace over to the feature definitions folder that we are creating our agency workspace in and this is the at the organizational level so that all of our users would have access to these text styles and dimension styles and so let's take a look and see what is delivered in this file so let's go ahead now and open this file and switch to the drawing workflow and then in the text category there select the down arrow for text styles and you will see all of the different text styles associated with this particular DGN library and we have a lot of different styles in here using the new engineering font some of them are and so we have some in here for example for cross sections we have some text styles in here for our profiles and then we have some cross sections in here for stationing for title blocks and so there's a lot of information in here already set up for you. Here's some, some plan view uh, stationing. Again, this is not something that you have to use. Textiles have been around with MicroStation for several years, and so this is nothing new. But we need to have those in place to develop all of our labels, because with each label that we develop, we will be required to select a text style and so having these brought over from what we deliver in the examples training workspace may be easier than starting from scratch but again it's not something that you are required to do just something for you to uh, consider and so make sure that you have looked at these text styles that we deliver in this DGN library and you can tell they're in here just by hovering over them if you want to consolidate some of what is delivered with your textile library you simply go to style and then you select import and you can import styles from your library or open your particular agency library and import styles over from the ones that are delivered. Just a couple of unique things to look at on some of these text styles. For example, setting up curve labels. One of the things that you'll notice here is the justification is chosen as left descender. That is like bottom left, but then offset down even further, so it kicks, kicks it off the line that you're placing it on in some situations. So I have used left descender quite a bit on, on some of these, and so just uh, understand that that is bottom left, but it is dropped below the text, so it's almost like an offset if you will. Uh, the other one that, that you're going to get into with multi-line uh, text, for example, like on a cross-section label, you might be labeling an offset and elevation, which was two lines. You're going to have to pay special attention to your line spacing settings and the line spacing types. And so, uh, again, those are just a couple of areas uh, you want to pay a special attention to. And typically, I've set up these text heights and widths based on a one to one scale and so as they are converted over uh, they will be the appropriate size and you will see here in this particular library it, several of these are not in the DGN library that was delivered 
with Open Roads Training Examples Workspace. These are actually from the agency's XYZ Levels DGN library is where they stored their textiles. So it is okay to combine these or to keep them separate. Uh, either way is fine as long as they are included in the startup. And anything with a DGN Lib extension in this feature definitions folder will be picked up. And so we're getting textiles from the agency's DGN library and we're getting now textiles from what we copied in from the training examples workspace. And so whether you combine these together or keep them separate, either way is fine. But you do want to have these textiles ready to go for creating your annotation labels. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.